<laughs> hey, what is going on everyone? It's me, Mr. Mario, and in this video here, I'm going to be showing you all if you are running an older version of PlayStation 3 in, and by that I mean any version prior to version 3.2.0, how you can resolve the update server error issue like you're seeing here the error on update server that you end up getting here this is happening because when you run ps3 hin and it looks for a new update it's still pointing to the ps3exploit.com domain which is no longer available or run by the ps3 exploit team they're now on the ps3exploit.me domain the problem is we need to update that within ps3 hin itself so in order to do that well we're going to update PS3 HIN. So I'm going to walk you through the process here overall of updating HFW, PS3 HIN, and also updating our Webman mod. I know it seems a little bit random throwing that in here, however, that is going to be needed due to a plugin issue that seems to clash with PS3 HIN 3.2.0 and older versions of Webman mod. So to do this, we're going to need a few things. We're of course going to need our PlayStation 3 connected to the internet. We're also going to need a USB drive and access to a computer to download and transfer over the files we need. I'll also recommend having an official PS3 controller as well as a mini USB cable on hand because we will need that if we need to boot into recovery mode to install HFW. With all that being said, let's move over to our computer and get some things sorted. Over at our computer, we're going to need a few downloads. First of all, we're going to need the latest version of Webman Mod. We're going to install this first, funny enough, before we do all the upgrades here, just so we don't run into that issue in regards to plugins and PS3 HIN freezing. You can download the latest version of Webman Mod available and just download the package file somewhere you can easily find it. Next up, we're going to need the latest version of HFW. Just click the download link here and download that somewhere you can easily find it. Finally, we're going to need a way of checking the MD5 hash that comes along with HFW so we make sure it all downloads and copies over it successfully. You can use whatever you want to to generate a hash here. I'm going to be using MD5 Checker. The link for this, of course, will be down below in the description. Great. Now with everything downloaded here, you'll also want to plug in your USB drive and if you've been using the PS3 in a modded state for any amount of time, you should probably know that you need to format your USB drive to FAT32 and of course make sure it is an MBR and not GPT. I'm not going to go into major detail on that front, since this will assume you already have the know-how of navigating a modified console here. However, for this, I'm just going to go in and I'm going to choose to delete everything here. You don't have to do that, I'm just doing that to have a clean USB drive. So to get everything transferred over, you can go into the drive itself, grab the Webman mod package file, copy it, and paste it to the root of your USB drive. It should look a little something like that. Next up, we're going to need to transfer over the HFW file. Using whatever extraction software you want to, you can just right click this and extract it into its own folder. Within the HFW folder, double click this, we're going to find the PS3 folder, which has the update folder, which has a PS3 updat.pup file. It needs to look exactly like this. Go ahead and copy out this PS3 folder in its entirety and paste it to the root of your USB drive. Now for our final piece here, go back over to the folder where you extracted HFW and we're going to grab this folder name here just by clicking it once, which now looks like we're going to edit it and we can now right click and copy this MD5 hash right here. Exit out of this and we're now going to need the MD5 checker or whatever we are using here. So to do this, I'm going to right click and extract this into its own folder. When you open up MD5 Checkers folder, you'll find the executable here, which you can open up, and it should look a little something like this. Now what you want to do is on your USB drive itself, you want to navigate into the drive, into the PS3 folder, update folder, grab the PS3 updat.pup file, and drop it into MD5 Checker. You want to make sure you're grabbing it from the USB drive itself. Now we can double click this and paste in our MD5 hash. And if they are matching and they show same, then we are all good to go at this point to continue on. To do this, we can now close out of here, close out of here, go back to our computer, right click and eject our USB drive. Awesome, 
we're all ready to go. So let's move back over to the PS3. I do want to note this portion here for the Webman Mod upgrade is really only going to impact people who currently use Webman Mod. If you do not use Webman Mod on PS3 Hin, you really don't need to worry about it and this part is optional. But if you currently have Webman Mod installed, you will need to upgrade it using these steps here. Back over at your PS3, plug in your USB drive, make sure it is readable by scrolling over to any of the media options and making sure it shows up. Then, if you haven't already done so, you're going to want to enable PS3 HIN. This will be required here because we're going to want to upgrade Webman Mod first before we upgrade anything else. Excellent. Now with all of that enabled, we can go down to the Package Manager, Install Package Files, Standard, and Install Webman Mod. Excellent. With that installed, we can scroll down to our game list and look for the Webman Mod Installer. Now, if you already have it, this is just going to be upgrading it, but I'm going to be holding down L1 for the full edition. So for that, again, on your controller, hold down L1, and then tap the X button and keep L1 held down to install the full version of Webman Mod, even through the reboot and black screen here. Once our system reboots, all should be good here, but we can go ahead and enable HIN if we want to, and we're going to want to do this here just because we can now verify which version of Webman Mod is installed. Now, as you can see, we're welcome to PS3 HIN yet again, and we can now see here that that new version of Webman Mod has been installed, which is exactly what we need. With the USB drive still plugged in, we're now going to upgrade the firmware on the system. So for this, we can navigate over to Settings, go up to System Update, go down to Update via Storage Media, and it should find the latest version of HFW. Go ahead, press OK. And we're now going to step through this process. Now do keep in mind, this is going to uninstall PS3 HIN, but we are going to upgrade HFW and reinstall PS3 HIN here shortly. Just walk through this process here, let it copy over the update data. The system will then reboot and get to a point where it will then update the firmware itself. Once your system reboots, just go ahead, let it do its thing, and it's now going to install HFW. Give this a few minutes here, it'll probably jump to 100% at one point and then reboot the console yet again. Once your console reboots, you might be a little bit alarmed seeing that your PS3 HIN has disappeared and this does look like a stock system and it will operate like such as well too because again, we have had to update the firmware but we're going to install PS3 HIN here shortly. Now the next step will be, I would recommend installing HFW twice. We're going to do this in order to match ROS0 and ROS1. It is recommended to install and update twice, just so we're all good on that front. So what we can do here is with the USB drive still plugged in, if you're able to update through USB, you can come up to settings, system update, update via storage media, and if you're able to reinstall here, you can go through this entire process. However, some people might not be able to install the same version they're currently on, and if you are running into that issue, you're going to need to install this through recovery mode. That also includes if you run into an issue such as this. So for this here, we're going to need to turn off our system, and this is where we'll need to plug in our original PS3 controller to the console itself. Go ahead, turn off your console, and then physically move over to it. We're going to have to boot it up in a certain way. While your console is turned off, press and hold down the power button, and keep it held down until the console turns back off. Great, now we're going to do it again, but this time around, hold down the power button and immediately release it after you hear two quick beeps. You should be at this screen here. If you're here, go ahead and follow the instructions to plug in your controller and then press the PS button. Once that's all done, navigate over to the system update option and enter it. Make sure your USB drive is connected and then press start and select at the same time. It's now going to check for the update file, just give it a few moments to do its thing. After it's done checking, it will then prepare the update itself, which is just going to copy it back over to the internal system storage and then reboot your console. If you've already done this before, you should be familiar with it, but just leave it alone and let it reboot. Once the system reboots, press the PS button here once prompted, let it check for the update data. Now go through all the processes here and let it install as long as you agree. 
it's going to do the same thing yet again. It'll go through the install process and once it's complete, it should reboot your console. Just leave it alone and let it finish up. Of course, coming out of recovery mode, you're going to need to reset your video settings here. So just agree to this. And once everything visually looks good, we can agree to that yet again and we can now continue on. So now that we have two HFW installs under our belt, we should be good to continue. Now, whether you want to do two installs through the XMB, both through recovery mode or one through XMB and one through recovery mode, it's up to you as long as you get two successful installs. Now it's going to be time to actually install PS3 HIN. So since we're on the latest HFW, we can now navigate over to the internet browser and open it up. We're going to have to go through all the preliminary steps of getting this all cleaned up. So for this, we can hit the triangle button, come up to tools, go to the home page, make sure it is set to use blank page, hit OK, go to tools yet again, and we're going to want to delete our cookies. We're going to delete the search history, delete our cache, and delete authentication information. It would also be recommended to come over here and confirm browser close, set that to off. But if you had PS3 HIN before, these are all steps you're probably familiar with. Now we can go ahead and close out of our browser. And with that closed, we're going to open it right back up. Press the triangle button here. We can come over to file, address entry, and for the website we're hitting, it's going to be exactly like this. It's going to be PS3 exploit. Make sure you remove the E dot M E. It's spelled exactly like this on screen. Once that's all dialed in, we can hit enter to continue and let it load up the web page. Go ahead, read any messages that are posted up here. And once you read them, you can hit OK. For this, we're first going to press the select button and we're going to add the site to our bookmarks so we can access it easier later on. Now what we can do is come up here to the top, look for PS3 HIN, and we're going to pick our poison here, whether we want the HIN auto installer, the HIN installer enabler, or the HIN alternative installer. I'll go ahead and let you choose which one you want to use, but I'm going to use the HIN auto installer. So select this, press X, and let it load. It's going to ask to download the PS3 HIN file or automatically download it, let it do its thing, press back, and on this page here with whichever installer you pick, press the select button yet again and add this to our bookmarks. Now we can go ahead and give this a shot here. You can just hit auto install HIN or follow the instructions on whichever installer you're using and let it do its thing. Now, while it's going through the exploit initialization, just in case it fails, and it probably will on the first time around, this is why I recommended you press the select button and add this installer to the bookmarks. That way, in case it does fail, we can just close out the browser, reopen it, and easily access our bookmark. If you do that later on and you're still having issues with the initialization failed, what you can also do is press the triangle button, go to tools, go to home page, and you can actually set the installer as the home page itself. So as soon as you close out and reopen the browser, it'll go to the installer. And typically that greatly increases the chances of installing PS3 HIN. Either way, those are a couple tips you could use just in case this does fail. I feel like we're going to be using one of them here in a bit. And just like this, as you can see, it did fail. So if it does, we can close out of our browser, reopen the browser, and this is why, again, I recommended having that bookmark since we can now press the select button and go to the installer itself. Now, if it does download the file again, go ahead, let it download. It's fine. It's just a megabyte here. Hit back and now hit auto install HIN. As you can see, it was able to go through successfully. So now it's going to walk through the rest of the process of installing HIN. We now have PS3 HIN 3.2.0. And fantastic, Webman mod has been enabled, and it's now going to download the rest of what we need. Just let it do its thing, don't touch anything here. Once the download's completed, you can press back, and it should now automatically install. And as we're reaching the end of the install, this should all be good. And there we go. Leave your controller alone, your console should reboot. And if it doesn't automatically reboot, after maybe a couple minutes or so, you can go ahead and reboot it yourself. So here we go. As you can see, the console has been rebooted. We do have PS3 HIN on here. And our last thing to do is really test this out. 
so you can go ahead hit enable hin right in the middle of the xmb And there we go, we have Welcome to PS3 HIN, we have the latest version of Webman Mod, the latest version of PS3 HIN available, and we didn't have anything free, which that's why I recommended installing and updating Webman Mod prior to this if you were already using Webman Mod. Either way, you should be all good to go at this point. This is kind of just a, I guess, short, long way of upgrading everything on here, but at this point, you should have your updated PS3 HIN, updated HFW, and updated Webman Mod if you choose to use that. That's about it for this video here, and if it helped, a like would absolutely be appreciated. If you didn't like it, a dislike is fine as well, too. But either way, this is Mr. Mario, signing off. Thank you all for watching, everyone.